Earlier today, the iconic American hip-hop artist Ice-T was here in the studio. The self-styled godfather of gangster rap had come to talk about a new documentary he's made about the art of rapping, which we'll be running on tomorrow night's programme. But while he was here and news about the Denver shooting was coming in, I briefly took the opportunity to ask him about his own attitude towards guns. And I asked him why he's such a defender of the right to bear arms. Well, I give up my gun when everybody else does. And is that Doesn't your... that make sense? Well, <laughs> doesn't that make sense? I mean, if you were to, if if there were guns here, would you be on to be the only person without one? So, you, so, so do you carry guns Not routinely any... at home? I mean, you have gun, you have a gun at home? Yeah, it's legal in the United States. It's part of our constitution. You know, the right to bear arms is because that's the last form of defense against tyranny. Not to hunt, to hunt. It's to protect yourself from the police. And do you see any link between that? And these sorts of incidents? No. Nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wants to kill people, you know, they don't need a gun, do it. Makes it easier though, doesn't it? Not really. You can use a, uh, you can strap explosives on your body. They do that all the time. So when there's the inevitable backlash mm -hmm. of the anti-gun lobby as a result of this incident, as it always is. Well, that's not going to change anything it's in not the United change States. Anything. Nah. The United States is based on guns. You know, like KRS says, you'll never have justice on stolen land. So it's not going to change.